disappoint me more and more. I disappoint you. All the time. This guy's the one that's not ready all the time. He's asking us to be ready. This is the kid that can't even unscrew a little nut over there to adjust the mics. I... Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Episode 93 is slower in here. You're in for a special one. Because it's WrestleMania weekend. WrestleMania weekend. Wrestle. WrestleMania or, weekend. Or what? America's favorite pastime. Is yeah. it because you ain't got no sleep? That's part of it. I haven't slept in 48 hours. I'm uh, I'm why? talking. What do you mean, why? Why haven't you slept? Why can't you just take naps? No, I, I slept. I'm, I'm joking. I why slept. You take it? What happened with your power naps you used to take all the time? I didn't sleep today just because I made the mistake of drinking some coffee when I got off work. And next thing you, you know. drinking? Next thing you know, it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then 3 o'clock in the afternoon? And then it's like 4, and then it's like 5, and I lay down, and I, and I wake up to Rob texting me, and then I wake up to him pulling up. I knew you here, were asleep. Here we are. And here we are. Here we are. We've we just, watched NXT TakeOver. New York. New York. Platinum Edition. 22 karat gold. Gotti? Yeah, Gucci. Oh, Gucci. They Gucci out there, man. Are they now? Yeah, uh, we have Steven back because last week we I'm didn't back. know where he was. I went to Disney. Uh, oh, he, went to, he had to, he go, went to uh, go worship his mouse god. Yeah, give some money, pay the coffers. The he sent them toenails. They only accept toenails. Yeah, not fingernails. There's Just toenails. <laughs> they have a machine that sorts it out. It's too. not a machine. It's it's a person. It's a no, person. they used to have people. But no, now they, well, yeah, but then you it have got to pay. You have to pay people too much. It's easier to just have a machine that does it. But that's why you. It's why when you slip the fingernails, they get paid in the fingernails. Oh, you pay the people in fingernails. Is it an impo- Is it an Oompa Loompa that does it? No, or is that it's, it's that's not, not Disney. Person. No, we said people. Ooh, Oompa Loompas aren't people. Magical beings? Yeah, I guess, but they aren't like. I don't know what are they. Well, they come from a, a people, a like, land down under of short it's stature. Not two down under, but it's it's down there. It's a it's it's fart range. Ooh. People from Fart Range. Sometimes, Mel's kind of people. Sometimes you gotta fart. To where he can use his sonogram. And- sometimes you just can't stop farting. Like yeah. all of NXT Takeover, huh, Mel? Yeah, you gave me some uh, Korean barbecue, so I uh, I had to I had oh, to let it out. Blame it on the bip me me bip Yeah, I'm gonna release the valve. Okay. I didn't get to see it, so I couldn't tell how delicious it looked. Yeah, just release the valve sometimes, and you'll be all right. You don't want to build up a fart in you too long. Because that shit gets ooh, mighty uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. Steven. Okay. 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 So you went to Disney last week? Yes, sir. Did you do anything else with your week? Did you work this week? I work every week. Ugh. 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 But I'm looking for, I'm still looking for a new job. I mean, I have. Ugh. You have some opportunities lined I up? Ha- well, I have. I'm in the clear. Not, I don't know. Clear, I'm at, my foot is in the door. I'm waiting on the results for my piss test that I took today. Oh, he meant to say urine analysis. Oh, the seven panel urine analysis test? Or was it an 11 panel urine analysis test? Which know. is illegal in the state of California, I believe. The 11? I'm just making shit up. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Oh, a little fuckhead. Yeah, well, you know. Yes, uh, today I took a uh, a drug test to, uh, you know, hopefully I passed that. Did you study? Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, you I... should I, be certain about this kind of stuff. Well, I mean, I am. I'm you pretty know sure. You I, yeah, you I'm, okay. I'm, I'm pretty 100% sure. Listen, okay. a company is going to piss test you. It's, it's, not, it's not a piss test. It's not a drug test. This is a, are you smart enough to pass this test test? Are you oh, smart enough to pass right. this test test? She. What? We'll proceed like you didn't say that. Um. And uh, are you smart enough to pass this test, Steve? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I got a, a passing grade. Mm, nope. I don't think it was a clear uh, eight 
A plus, but I'm pretty sure it was like a B. There's either a yes or no on those things. There's not any kind of like graded bell curve to a piss test. You're an analysis. Sorry. <laughs> Stricken from the record. Uh, I will strike it. So, did they drink it in front of you? What? Is that what they do when you go take? When was the last time you took a piss test? Was it for your PO? Because that's weird, bro. If your PO was doing that. <laughs> yeah, I think you need a, a new PO if your PO is <laughs> no, that's drinking the one your you piss. Keep. You may have a point there. Because if they have a piss fetish and you're able to keep it coming. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. And then some. Yeah. You imagine peeing on a 300 pound Cuban man named Michel. Michel. And his voice sounds like Gabriel Iglesias really high. You had him too? Hey, Michel here. Michel here? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you. So, besides this, uh. Your analysis. Your analysis. Uh, what else? Like, popped off this <laughs> week's team. Uh, my dog got sick. Oh. oh yeah! Ooh, that was Monday. A rough day. Monday actually is like, I think it was like it started like around noonish, like almost like two, like between twelve and two o'clock. He started getting very, started being very lethargic, like just being very mopey and just dragging his feet. No, he's depressed. No, he's better now. He's all happy and giddy and jumps on when you so jumps up when you answer when you come to the door. You said I bet he wouldn't do that if I came to the door. He'd be back to his normal, I'm going to kill you and bite your leg off. He just barks. That's all it is. It's just a bark. I know his bark sounds scary, but that's all he has. He doesn't really have a bite. It's, that's why you keep him in a separate room when I come over? So that he doesn't ruin the moment or ruin the environment. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ruin the environment whoa, 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 whoa. of him barking I've while we're I've only been over to, to uh, Steve's house w- once. <laughs> the last time we were, you guys were over... Really? Well, yeah. Apparently, Steve's trying to set a mood. Yeah, he's trying to get the mood right. Well, now that I got did that he light like candles? Well, now that I got that Google Home, I can I can dim the lights with my Google Home. Do you have adjustable lights? Did you guys light bites? Well, light lights that work it, like that? my brother gave me a Google Home and it came with a smart bulb, so mm-hmm. you can bulb. tell it. Hey, Google. Oh, it did turn come the- with the smart bulb. You got one of those smart bulbs. <clears throat> yeah. And so you it, use so it? I can tell. So I can say, Hey, Google. Put on my fucking lights. I say. Do you call well, it my fucking light? <laughs> yeah, I just call it the main light. Oh. oh. I could change it if I wanted to. Yeah, I would put it in my room and say, "Hey Google, put on my fucking light." <laughs> and it would be like a spotlight that shines down on my gut. What? What you looking my gut for? Yeah, uh, everything else would be a, a mystery. And then like a disco ball, too. Yeah, the disco ball would pop off. That would be cool. Yeah. I'd be down. Uh, sorry, Stephen. No, you're not. I didn't mean to disrail. He always disrail. You, you disrobe, you derail. But you shouldn't do either of those. You're uh, weak. Well, here. he's known for derailing. That's his, and disrobing. That's his, well, yeah, that too. <sighs> he, he's known for popping tops. I'm, I heard that you popped your top last last weekend. It's too early. It's too early. I gotta get it off. There's okay. We got about an inch. Oh, I got There's an inch. Well, There's an inch of gut showing. We, let's wait till we leave you till you get it off. No. <laughs> please, <watch. laughs> please, please wait to get it off. To like the shower or something or your bedroom. Yeah, no, man. You ever just go get it off outside on top of a roof? Actually, yes. Yeah, that's what you gotta do sometimes. <laughs> live a little. <laughs> I'm with you there, bud. People talk about like <laughs> I've never gone on top of a roof and just like gotten, gotten off. off. No, it was you a parking. Got... Does a parking garage count? Well, I mean, yeah, because it's you're a structure. Gonna, like, unless you're planning on staying up there forever, you have to get off sometime. <laughs> like, come on. I'm not a fan of heights in the begin to begin with. So, like, so Steve would get off pretty quick. Oh yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> even get up. He would come on and get right off there. I, w- I wouldn't even get off a ladder. That sounds like a hard thing to do. Get off a ladder. Hot times. <laughs> the son of a son of a preacher. Preacher. Creature. 
I'm a son of a preacher, man. So your week was pretty boring. <laughs> I'm gonna just be honest with you. Well, I never got to like. Well, just... did anything go ha- cool happen two weeks ago? Besides, yeah, Disney, it doesn't uh, besides Disney, uh, my Disney's dog, cool. my dog. What? Yeah, it's you're not, not even cool renewing you your past. You been in forever. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Tower of Terror is cool. Is it even there anymore? Yeah, it's at uh, Hollywood Studios. MGM. They open the Super Nintendo World yet? That's nope. a, uh, that's going to be Universal. Oh. No, you, you're thinking Star Wars. Did they open Star Wars Land? Not till August. And Steve's not going to have a pass. You're going to so... pass at that point. You're going to go though, right? So Eventually. You're go to gay Day. Eventually, I'll go. <laughs> Steve steers clear of Gay Day. I hear. No, I don't. It's his birthday. Well, it it'll be huh? that it'll be Gay Day this time. Will be. The, the day before is it, my birthday. It's not called Gay Day. It is called Gay Day. For real? You go and right where you're Is this official? Yeah, yeah, it's the first Saturday of June. Is, and, and last year was my birthday yeah. on, on Gay Day. And it's called the Magic Kingdom's Gay Day. It's, yeah. Is this official well, It's not or Magic Kingdom. It's all of Disney World. It's all four, all of all four parks. Yeah, is it all this all an unofficial thing? But it's mostly at Magic Kingdom. I there. see you're at five inches now, You can go there and find your tribe. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, oh. you can find another complicated situation. That sounds way more complicated than and the situation I'm those, in. <laughs> and all those guys and gals, they wear red shirts. To Colonize? show that I don't they're know. Soviets? Or... No. I don't know. Why do you fucking jump Soviet? Because... What, what, what about, you... like, fucking... Because social, socialists didn't pop in my head. Because you, you're always on Facebook, man. What? Always on the Facebook, and that's what happens. You get on Facebook, you start getting that mush brain. Mush. 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 I'm on Facebook so little now. Mush. That's why you're getting some of your brain back. I am? You were lost for a while. I was? Yeah. Now I'm found? Yeah. Was blind? It's Amazing Grace. It is Amazing Grace. Eh, It's not that amazing. See? It's not very graceful either. You're such a pessimist. What? Whoa, Charlotte without hey. makeup on. Good, good giggling. So what about your boring week, Rob? Oh, you want to hear about it? I had a week. Here it goes. Rob, Rob, Rob finally had a week. <laughs> I doubt that. A- after, I 93, doubt that. after 93 episodes, Rob finally found a week. I had seven days of fast. That's a week. Okay. Uh, Work is... Freaking insane. My job has become the only certified company in a 17 million social media base, blah, 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 that can put out a uh, meal plan for all these people going through this 30 plan, 30, 30 day detox thing to figure out what's wrong with them. It just sounds like marketing jargon to me. Kind of, but. That's bullshit, bro. Don't no, 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 no. Don't let them blow your head up like that. They're going to be do... blowing up my wallet, bro. Yeah, t- tell them you want more money. Yeah. Well, you got to, you know, I mean, I got to. on that SmackDown. I got to be there 90 days before deal. that. You know, after that, one, the day that 90 days hits, it's going to be like, <clears throat> um, I could run this way. You're going to do it? I'm going to ask for more money, yeah. Huh. I ain't afraid to look elsewhere. Yep. I know my worth. Okay. What? So, yeah, there could be a lot of overtime in my future, probably. Maybe, if that works out. Overtime, Rob. That's what we're going to call a hustle. hustle. OTR. I, OTR. I, I, I dig the money. And guess what? What? I got no, one. we should call him Rob OT. Because then it would be Rot. Rot over here. He's all mush-brained because of the rot. So I got a laundromat story. Oh. Oh, another laundry story. <laughs> Steven is like, man, I got a washer and dryer. Uh, I don't know. My washer's getting kind of ghetto. Oh. Oh. I got a pair because the, uh, like the little They device. can't hear you when you don't talk in the microphone. What? Exactly. Come on, guys. Don't fight, don't fight right now. You got to wait till WrestleMania. What? <clears throat> Tell us your laundromat story. 
Yeah. I don't want to know. Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at the laundromat. Oh, you guys just got sh- way fucking close. Shit. I want to hear the story. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I can't do this when it's on a stand. Use the stand. He's <laughs> not strong enough to unscrew it. Stop it. You can stand. I'm gonna st- I got a stand here. There's so much noise. <laughs> so fucking much noise. I mean, it's quiet now. <laughs> I think we're good now. Are you sure? Do you got? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Do you want this? <laughs> Do you want this? No. Good. I'm good now. That was what they're talking like isn't a, a p- uh, Steve. Come closer. What the fuck is going on here? So. <laughs> I'm not comfortable anymore. Um, at the laundromat, I uh, was putting in my loads, if you will. I had uh, two loads of the big, big loads to do. And uh, I go to put in my... Uh, detergent after I turned one of them on with the quarters and such. And you realized it had a dick? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did turn it on. But as I go to put detergent in, there's a fucking tablet on top of it. A what? A tablet. On top of the dryer? On top of the washing machine. What? Yeah. So, uh... <clears throat> Was it unlocked? Were you able to scroll and Well, you know, through it? the Rob... Did what anybody would do, like oh, who's looking at me? What's going on? Look left, look right, look up, look down, be inconspicuous. And then there was only like two people, two groups of people in the laundromat. Uh, one person that was leaving, and a Spanish family. So, being the good upstanding citizen that I am, I went to the Spanish family, like, hey, it's yours. And they were like. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, well, somebody left it over there. Like, oh, no, shit. Or w- whatever. And uh, the other person left, so. I set it there. I didn't know what to do. You know all these fucking laundromats have cameras for when you break into them. Oh, yeah. But that's the only fun fucking time they're going to look at them. So, it sat there. It sat there, sat there. I finally picked it up. It looked like it was either a crackhead's or a little kid's. It said Madison Six Tablet. What did it say? Madison Six Tablet. Oh. It was like Candy Crush was on. Oh, uh, it was a little kid. Battery was at twenty percent. You stole a little kid's. Tablet. No, 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 no. You have Madison Six iPad. Madison. If you're Such out there. <laughs> Madison <laughs> listens to this <laughs> podcast. And you too. All right. Such a heel. You stole Madison. It. If you're out there, your tablet is safe. I have it. I sent an email to the Kindle address of the tablet, letting them know I have it. It is safe. I just don't know how long I'm going to be able to hold on to it. Oh, he stole a little kid's tablet. Well, what do you do in that situation then, Mel? Just leave it there for somebody else to steal? Yeah. Did you... Is there like a phone... I didn't even steal it. Is there like a, a contact, like a phone book or There was like nothing that? in there. It was just games and that was it. Oh. There wasn't even a Facebook on there. Did you make purchases on it? Did you check the browser history? <laughs> I didn't even go that, that deep. Did you check the Did photos... <laughs> There wasn't an SD card, uh, but I guess I got to check those photos. No, this is a kid's tablet or a crack. No. A crackhead might have pornography or drug links. They're like beef drug jerky. Drug links? What? Drug links, beef jerky. Jack links? <laughs> Don't. Charlotte looks oh, like yeah? beef jerky. Next year, Steven. One year from today. Boom. Tampa Bay. 
WrestleMania. So you would have just left it there? Yeah. Steven? Isn't it like a manager's office at that laundromat or something? Yeah. And what, have you ever been to a fucking laundry? <laughs> and what happens no? if it's loaded with child pornography and then you have to answer to yeah, whoever? And then you have it, it and now yeah, your place you. is getting fucking it's blue you. dotted. It's on you. You don't know what's on that. It's your on pla- you. And you hooked it up to your computer, probably. No, I didn't. Okay. It's don't connected do that. to your Wi-Fi. Nope, Ooh. not yet. <laughs> I'm a reformat before that. Oh, he's already talking about reformatting it. I told you he stole it. We're have a new hey, pod- he's justifying it. Though, we're like, we're somebody new- else would have done it if I didn't do it. <clears throat> we're going to have a new podcast tablet. No, he's not even going to bring it out. He's just going to sell it on eBay or something. Well, <laughs> probably not eBay. Fucking man. It's got a little crack in the side. Oh. I could probably get 40 bucks for it. This is why we can't be ethical as a people. I tried. Did yeah. you? You tried by taking it. No, I asked if it was anyone's. Yeah, but you just leave it. It's not like for it's what? six bucks. Leave it for what? Why take it? I what? made the attempt to to find the owner. I feel like I'm smarter than anyone else that's going to come across that. I did for real send the email. They don't check that shit. You know that. Oh, yeah, but, you know. They can't check it. Do you think Massa really checks her emails? She doesn't have her iPad. She can't. It's a Kindle. Oh, what? It, it's a Kindle? Too? Yeah. Oh. Amazon Kindle. You should download her a bunch of books to read. <laughs> like, yeah. Steve's talking like the bitch is going to get it back. I was just saying. He already formatted it. <laughs> no, it didn't. That's happening. He's talking about it like he didn't do it. No, he <laughs> formatted it the minute he got it home. He didn't even send that email Kindle. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. This is what he's I doing charged tomorrow. It. I charged it the minute I got it home because it was at like 20%. Yeah. I haven't he... done, and then I turned it off. I turned it off as I charged it. This is what he's doing tomorrow while he's... uh. Uploading this podcast for the listeners. That's happening he's tonight, fucking, homie. He's fucking with a stolen iPad. It's not an iPad. Stole, <laughs> stolen goods. I'm not dealing. Dealing in stolen goods. <laughs> but, so if you found a $100 bill on the ground, you want to pick it up? Well, that's it's different. $100, that's not an iPad. It's somebody's property. Eh, no. <laughs> And there you have it, folks. That's where Mel's morality ends. At money. Not physical things. How are you going to, like, the... What? You're going to leave the iPad there for somebody. Yeah, some other stupid fucking cracker. At least I got it and can do some good with it. Like, try to find the owner. <laughs> try to find the new owner. Did you owner. go back there and put a picture of it on paper? And say, found your iPad, contact me. No, because then anybody could be there and like, oh yeah, it's mine. Uh, it looks like this. And would yeah. they be able to describe My, my name's Madison. And that's my sixth iPad. Yeah. And give you an email address that's a, associated with said piece of equipment. You know something, Mel? That's a good idea. I should do that. Well, it would be great if you hadn't already formatted it. I didn't eBay. format it yet. He is listing right now. And I it's on Craigslist. I mean... Yep, see? I told you, Steven. I'll meet you in a parking lot. Somewhere. Jeez. Nowhere near where I live. Louise. So, uh, do you have any other stories about theft from your week? <laughs> I didn't steal anything else this week. Uh, what else happened? There was some other shit that happened. Lots of other shit that happened. I don't know why we went so deep on this. Oh! you stole from a little kid. You stole Madison's iPad. Yeah. In my mind, her Madison's sixth, like maybe a little Her six. sixth one. Not her parents. Well, maybe this will teach that bitch a fucking one. lesson to watch where her shit is. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hope she doesn't get a new one now. <clears throat> you know she's going to get a seventh iPad. Well, then her, that's shame Who on her fucking at parents. Six? Who yeah, the fuck who are her stop? parents then? I know it's an even number, but can afford still, who this stops shit at then? six? So now you're just buying it because they can afford it. I'm formatting this motherfucker as soon as I get home. Yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. Um, I did play a game this week. A oh. little bit. And you're never, ever, 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 ever going to guess this. It was a fighting game. It was pretty fucking good. It was on the Nintendo Switch. It was. Is it an old game? Nope. 
It's a brand new game. It's only available in the eShop. There's no physical copy out yet. Dive Kick? Nope. Blaze Blue? Nope. Did you talk Blaze about this Blue last week? Nope. Sh- Samurai Showdown? Nope. You're never going to guess it. Never. Ever. I don't play Nintendo games, yeah, so. Well, fuck it then. Mighty yeah. Morphin fucking Power Rangers. Oh. They got a brand new Street Fighter style three on verse three fighter out. It's actually pretty good. Can you stole this too? <laughs> My roommate did. Yeah. Mm. You see. House of, th- House of Thieves. House of Thieves. A den of thieves over there. <laughs> Your fucking dog's gonna come home with some other person's, some other dog's blankets. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Another dog's toys. She just got a lot of toys that I don't know where they come from sometimes. I'm like, where the fuck did this come from? Yeah. It must have been in the bottom of the barrel. Yep, see? Hmm. I, I knew it. That's what happened. Must I've be. seen it time and time again. Yeah, she's a Baltimore dog, true and true, even though she's never been there. Anybody watch, uh,. The Trailer Park Boys animated series yet? No. Nope. I it's don't watch that show. actually fucking funny. Yeah, but Bubbles okay. raped that girl. Allegedly. Eh. Still don't care. Okay. I mean, it's better than the last couple seasons on Netflix. Uh, I don't care. All right. I no, don't I, care. I, I watched that new movie, uh, The Highwaymen, oh. with uh, Kevin Costner and um, Woody Harrelson. Venom? They... Or Carnage? <laughs> and you space dock to it? No. Where they play the two, um, like, um, Texas Rangers who are, who, are cap- who are going after Bonnie and Clyde. How was it? It was really good. Yeah? Yeah. I got set up for this. Ooh, he's got to set up for this. Uh-oh. No, it was really good. It was, um, I thought it was a James Mangold who did it, but it was uh, someone else I can't remember. But it was really good. Had a good cast to it, too. Uh, Kathy Bates was in it. You really don't see uh, the people who play Bonnie and Clyde until like, the very end when they get shot up. Hmm. Ew. It's about them, but not with them. It's more about uh, the highwaymen, the, no, the, the, law, highway. the Texas Rangers. The lawmen that catch them. And then I, I wasn't here last week, but I also watched that movie, The Dirt. Oh, you watched that? I Every, like, everybody's I liked it. seen I'm that not movie. A, I wasn't, I'm not a big uh, Motley Crue fan, but I thought it was pretty good. But I mean, it wasn't a good movie. You're a big Machine all, Gun but... Kelly fan? No, I, I like uh, Jeff Tremaine. Who? It was just like Jackass. Yeah, it was a very Don't Jackass. look over here. <laughs> What's going on over there? Nothing. Well, there's not an iPad over there, that's for sure. Yeah, not a stolen iPad. You need one? It's not Madison's seventh iPad, that's for sure. It's Amazon? Yeah. Kindle. Uh, it's a Kindle. Um, I had movie time with a complicated situation. Another That's time? A complicated movie time. Twice. Uh, That's a uh, code oh. for <laughs> sexual relations, Stephen. <laughs> sexual relations. That was three times. Uh, how it ends. Reproduction. Wasn't that the movie you watched last week? Like... Was it? I, I thought last week you you watched two movies. Like, it was a... What was like, the second one? Because I wasn't sure about this when I wrote this don't down. Don't confuse him. Or, no, 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 you sent two trailers. Because you sent the trailer for that that Vengeful Mom movie. And then you... Sent, yeah, we watched that. And then you... I thought you... And you showed me a picture. Or you showed us a picture of that... I, got the, I thought it was How It Ends. Like, that Netflix movie. Who's in it? Where it's it? like a post-apocalyptic and stuff. Did I talk about that last week? And the guy has to get to his girlfriend or something like that. Yeah. I totally talked about that last um, week. Officially, I don't know, Rob. All right, well, that happened the week before, apparently, and Amen. shit just runs together. And we watched Black Panther. It was my second time watching it. Wakanda forever. I didn't like it the second time. What? It wasn't very good. It was slow, and there wasn't much action. You're such a hater. It was like a live-action uh, Lion King. So yeah. No, Steven, don't even I still la- I did still laugh at all the monkey noises. And you could only imagine who I was watching it with made it even funnier. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Jeez. I watched uh, Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot. What? It was this. It's a bio. It was a biography movie about uh, Jack Callahan. The Brakes guy? What? Callahan Motors? Callahan Brakes? No. He is a uh, cartoonist. 
and he does lots of uh, political, like uh, satirical comedy uh, stuff. And he got into a really bad accident, and so he was paralyzed from the chest down. So like his arms, he really can't like move his like grab things. So he has to, like use both hands. Where do we put microphones? He has to use both hands to uh, to draw pictures and stuff. And it was really good. Uh, he doesn't walk- have a dick. Walking. <laughs> Apparently he does. Um, <laughs> Apparently it's the only thing that works, Mel. Yeah, that was the only thing that really worked the waist down uh, from the chest down because he hooked up with this one lady, and then while he was in uh, rehabilitation, he had a nurse sit on his face. What? Yeah. Like what? Wait, wait, what? No, he he like uh, his his doctor said to get stimulants to your penis, your your dick, you need to get. Like mental, mental hardness. So tell a girl, like, just ask someone, hey, yeah, I see you have your eye on this nurse that helps, like, sponge baths you. Like, ask her, sit on your face. And then she laughed about it and then came back, like, next, like, two minutes later and just sat on the guy's face. And that was a good movie, though. Her panties? Hmm? Uh, They didn't, like, get full nudity or something. Oh. Did she fart on him? (laughs) I don't know. Then it gets that far. It was it's a Gus Van Sant movie. Well, but, uh, I mean. but uh Joaquin Phoenix plays um John Callahan. And the funniest thing is um uh, what's his name? What is his name? Oh, I can't think of his name. Oh, Jonah Hill. He he plays uh an AA like uh, counselor. And um he has like a full beard and like long blonde hair. He looks like Brad Pitt from um, uh, that uh, zombie movie he did. World War Z? Yeah. So, all this because he didn't have a dick? What? He has a dick. But Mel said... What did Mel say? Mel, what would you say? I I guess I was misinformed, but I thought he didn't have a dick. No, he he has all of his <laughs> body parts. He's just, he Don't was you? paralyzed from the chest down. Oh, okay. From the chest down. So yeah, just that would be his dick. Head. Yeah, his he has it. It's just not. You saw know, it. Some reason it wasn't functional in the beginning, but then some nurse sat on his face. Yeah. Yeah, and it revived him. It revived his dick. She got that golden pussy. Did a doctor write a prescription for that? I don't know. Maybe he was in the men. I don't know. Mm. It's on a. Uh, it's on Prime. If you guys want to check it out, it's really good. It's probably like a. So it's it's a two hour. Good film. A two-hour good film. Steven you won't Cruz. be wasting time watching it. That's you what I'm saying. You won't be wasting time. You won't be asking for two hours back. Speaking of wasting time, yeah. Mel, how was your week? My week? My week? <laughs> My week was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was nice. I, uh, you know, I was working for this weekend. I took Sunday night off, so I don't have to be back to work till Monday night, which is nice. Little fucking three day weekend, Rob. And why is that? Uh, for WrestleMania. We're gonna get together. We're gonna have some uh, pizza. Some uh, maybe some pizza that's like a uh, cheesesteak pizza. Ooh. We're gonna have that. We're gonna eat some maybe some buffalo wings. It'll it'll be a good time. Some buffalo wings. Buffalo. From. Saint yeah. Pete. Where are we thinking of getting it from? Um, you know, we should go. Rudy's. Rudy's. Yeah, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go get him to go. Rudy says pizza. No, no, we're, no we're not eating that fucking pizza, Stephen. We're gonna get it from two different places. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I wasn't sure. Was All right. Well, where I just we... let you know. I was asking we're where are we going anymore. to okay. get this to get this food, and you said Rudy's, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know they had pizza there. Yeah, it's that free shit. Yeah, it's, it's gross. Gross, <laughs> gross looking. Sits um, out all day. It's greasier than than school pizza. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Grim Dawn this week. What's that? It's a uh, game like Diablo two on the uh, PC there. You and your fucking Diablo guy. I've been playing a lot of that. I got my permanent uh, crowns in my mouth. On so he's. The, I've seen the hockey smile. Eat. So it's it's nice being able to eat. And, you know, it's what, what'd you eat? It's a what'd little, you eat? What'd little you eat? sensitive still, but when aren't you? Never. 
<laughs> so what was the first thing you ate with your crowns? Breaking them in. Breaking them in. Well, I had to eat um, kind of soft stuff for those 24 hours. Not like soft, but nothing really hard. You know, <laughs> I went and got a sandwich, though. I had to go get me a sandwich. I went to go to Wendy's, but their line was way too long. So I went to Culver's. And let me tell you, Culver's delicious. I don't know, man. Culver's was once very good when they first came around, but I think they slacked off a little bit lately. Have you guys been to this Twisty Treat on uh, 66 here? No. Yes. It's so delicious. Yes. It's good to you? I love the rice. You can't really fuck up ice cream, man. Yeah. Well, you can. <clears throat> you can fuck it up. And if anybody could, it would be Steven. Uh, I'll tell you that much. How's that? I used to work at a Baskin Robbins. Are you saying the kid fucked up when? your uh, Sunday? Years ago. 31 flavors? Then maybe there's a reason you're not still working there. No, I quit. <laughs> That's the reason, day. though. Yeah. Well, I was I was mostly working the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts side than the Boston Robbins side. See? Oh, you weren't good enough to work the Boston yeah. side. I got there early in the morning to make the donuts. They don't uh, make donuts anymore. They Not anymore, but they did when I worked there. They fall donuts. Yeah. Fall in line donuts. This is when I was still... Uh, not able to grow facial hair so when I'd get in the morning i put on a thick mustache like the old Dunkin Donuts guy and I said time to make the donuts see you put Mel to sleep what? you put Mel to sleep yeah well, Mel's just a Mel hey so that's that was your week you played some Diablo uh, Diablo S game and yeah did got, that. Your, got your perma crown perma crowns uh, did you name them? D- didn't get too much sleep this week. It's been off, so my sleep's been off like a motherfucker. Cause you're too. drinking coffee when you get home. Yeah, I made the mistake of drinking some coffee after work, which is bad idea. Let me tell you, for the old Mel, maybe not for you out there, but for me, not not good. Cause Mel's not old. Good. He's the youngest one in this room, and he's the old one. Yeah. He's at least flexible. Hey. (laughs) I'm pretty flexible. Bullshit. Touch your toes. In my mind. I'm not locked into a a thought pattern like y'all. Y'all. Okay. Yeah. Look perplexed at me again. (laughs) Motherfucker. Talk about your wrestling news. For the week. Not for not for everything. Not for the future. The present. The present. Okay? Or at least what's happened this past week. Not uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On June eighth, NXT is going to be holding its first uh pay per view away from a, a uh pay per view weekend. How it's do you feel? stand alone. I think they're more than ready and more than capable. It'll be scary for him. Oh, you think? Yeah. Why? Because it's a new kicking a the bird out world. the nest. You gotta try new things sometimes. Yeah, They've gotta... toured before by themselves. Stop it, Rob. I'm just saying. Just stop, okay? Okay, no. While you're ahead, Tennille Dashwood is a healthy free agent. But she was just in Lifeblood. And if she signs with ROH, she'll still be in Lifeblood. So that's cool. I guess she hasn't wrestled in so long. I forgot what her wrestling's like. So maybe she just moves out of the way for some of this younger talent. Mel with some hot takes here. Yeah. Tired, tired Mel with hot takes. You should see me drive when I'm tired. Whoa. Uh, I see you drive when you're not. Scary. Well, motherfuckers just need to learn. Foot Locker and Fila are introducing WWE-inspired shoes. Did you see any of those? New Day shoes? No. I saw the Sasha Bank ones. They're probably like 130 bucks. So I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Easy. Probably more than that. Yeah. That's a hard no It's a hard me. pass on you? Okay. Here's something I know Mel can get behind. Will Osprey spoke openly about dealing with mental health issues this past week. And saying it's been a very tough time for him. And he uh, just 
uh, yesterday or the day before said that he's done with progress. Let's get your hot take. Signed with what? Done with progress. He's done with it's progress. Time to move on. That makes sense. Because they're WWE affiliated. And he's New Japan. He's he's draw he's on the side. He's picked a side for the the battle in the sands. You were so sleepy. This is awesome. Um <clears throat> Jim Ross. It's the official commentator for AEW. I thought Excalibur was. As well as Excalibur. And who's the ring announcer? Where's your hand? Don't look at me. I I don't look at me. I'm okay. trying to maintain eye contact, no, but it's so me. hard when you So what was that question you were doing with that thing with your hand you're doing? Well, I'm not even looking at you now, so I'm not sure what you're doing. But Chelsea, who's, back. The, who's the ring announcer for Steve, would you AW? look at him and tell me what Justin he's doing? Roberts. Don't look at me either. I'm trying to look things. at my damn notes. Well, you can look at those, but don't look but at like, me. But I can kind of see you out of my periffs. Yeah, well, don't look at my testicle, which... Uh, okay. Is it? Yeah. Ah. Um, you had to, he looked. I just <laughs> want everybody to know on the record. He, he looked. It's, I needed, it's he on the record. I need, it's him, noted. It's not going to be removed. I needed to know if this was PG-13 or R. And yeah. it's a hard R now. We've yeah. gone definitely we've gone, a hard R. <laughs> now it's got an NT seventeen. <laughs> He's got completely showgirls. No. He says you got some of that BDE, though. Yeah. You gotta get the BDE. <laughs> John Oliver's WWE piece. You guys watch that? Yeah, I did. What do you think? It was think? really funny. Funny? You, funny. I liked it. It was funny. It was funny. Yeah, it was but funny. it was also it was poignant. Depressing. Well, see. Mel, this is where you and I are going to have a difference in opinion. Steve, come close. <laughs> um, you are under the, f the notion that you believe Vince McMahon should have been giving these people health care the whole time. Correct? No, not the whole time. Or now. now. Okay. I'm in the notion that they're not contractors, that they're employees. Yes, but... No one is making them work. Independent, contract, independent contractors, as John Oliver pointed out. Yeah. No one is making <clears throat> them work there. Yeah, again, that doesn't... I don't care about... I think in our society we should protect people from corporations instead of corporations from people. No one's making them do that, but somebody should make corporations not be able to do this. Mm, then I don't know. That's not capitalism. That's totally capitalism. Nah. It's your choice. I don't know. Yeah, no, it is your choice, but when every choice is like that because they get away with it, is there a choice or is that an illusion of choice? But then it's up for people. No, go ahead. Suck that corporate dick some more there. <laughs> No, then it's up for people to make their own corporation and Hell make it yeah. better than the other one. No, but it, that's what happens when there's no regulation for this stuff. It, it'll end up being that way for everybody, you know? Mm. That's why there needs to be regulation. Because one thing I know about humans, and it's that you cannot trust them with power. And who do you trust with power? Yeah, that's true. It's true. <laughs> no shit. Absolute power corrupts. That's why Absolutely. you need transparency. I think that's the only thing that protects against that thing. Which is kind of the regulation, you know? Alright. That's that's how I feel about it. You can't you can't so or somebody's an independent contractor. Now in the if you're doing indie dates where you're getting booked by different uh promotions well, I mean, and doing all that, yeah, that, cuz that's getting booked out for different gigs. But when you're having to yeah, this travel whole, on the road... Quote, or, unquote, independent contractor thing with WWE is absurd and not an independent and contractor. And it's just a tax but, loophole. No, if any one of these wrestlers took that to court, they'd win. But you can't take it to court, Yeah, though. you can't. Like, if any one of us was working for a company that we signed a non-disclosure form for, and something happened, and they tried to sue you for your non-disclosure or some shit, 
nine out of ten times, you're going to win. All right. So then they also have this added leverage that they're WWE. Yeah. This is the ultimate goal for a lot of people. And so once you get there, do you really want to rock that boat? Sometimes our goals aren't what they seem to be. Yeah. And we need to adjust. Yeah, I don't, this is where we always are going to disagree because you have this whole like where you can just change your whole situation no matter what. And no, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying you can work harder than the next guy. You can. Yeah, and does that something? Does that really work, though? I think so. OK, so when there's that one guy that's lazier than you, that's making more about it than you. And you no, it about happens him. all the time. Yeah. But when I. I show more initiative than that guy. I usually make it further than them, and I usually end up making more money than them. I'm just—I don't know. It's all good. I still love you, brother. No. <laughs> Would you pay thirty dollars to touch Joey Ryan's cock? No. 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 I have no desire for that. This is one of you. I, he, I think he's coming out of the closet here. No, I just think it's. He meat gazed me earlier. He's actually thinking about touching Joe. You Ryan's had your talk. fucking hand all. I was. I like, had. A, I had a through the pant leg of your shorts. I had an itch that was really bad, and like it was a really bad itch. There was more than the itch there. There was a little jingle jangle in that no, dingle dangle. This has been a while where Mel has had both hands free. So now he doesn't know what to do and where to put his hands. So the first thing he does, this kid has points. Yeah, well, I mean, it, 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 there was a bad itch there. They have a cream for that, Mel. Even sprays, ointments, powders. Well, no, it's topical not, it's not solutions. Like it's a There's soap and water. There's a one time. Might work a little magic. There was a one-time thing. That's what all the girls you tell you. Just catch me. Okay. Wait, did you, did you just say something red pilly over there? <laughs> what? No, oh, it was no. kind of blue pilly. Oh, no. Uh, we lost him. Where were we? Oh, Kyle O'Reilly is going to be in Progress Super Strong Style 16 tournament. I can... A girl? What? Kyle O'Reilly? Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, see, this goes back to David Starr's point that WWE is ruining independent wrestling, and it's not really independent anymore. Who's fickle this evening? Not fickle. It's just tired. I'm letting you guys know the truth. It is. And finally in news this evening. They take blood money from the Saudis. Yes, yes, they do. And they change and the date. They don't but, they um, block unions. A and E forming. A &E and don't want to provide health insurance. <laughs> to produce five two hour documentaries on WWE wrestlers. And Vice is doing a a, do a wrestling doc as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vice is not official well. though. It's uh you know, because that's what happens now. Wrestling's cool again. Just wait till we see Rock at WrestleMania next year. I did it for The Rock. That's going to be cool. Take home show to WrestleMania Monday Night Raw. Happened. Uh, it was kind of a meh show, except for a Batista promo and a uh, the main event ladies getting into the all out brawl. We found out. It would be winner take all mm -hmm. in the women's main event at the WrestleMania. Yeah. So I guess that means we're unifying these belts. No. We're just gonna have two belts. Yeah. Somebody's gonna either lose it real quick or. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then we had a match which they couldn't fight each other or touch each other or some shit. And then as soon as that match was over, Ronda knocked the fuck out of Charlotte, and then all hell broke loose. And they got arrested, quote unquote. Yeah, I just said that the main event brawl. Yeah, I'm recapping it in no. a timely manner. And nobody uh, wants a recap. They watched it. 
Mm. That should have been I the uh, closing segment of Raw. Yeah, because that whole Kurt Angle. <clears throat> that Do you think that segment was like one of the best segments in years? Yeah. Like people are saying, really? Yeah. I need to go back and watch it again. Because I didn't, I mean, it was good. I liked like the action in the back. No, and, it was, it was fun. It, had, it, it, it was fun, but right. it's just, it, sh- it should have been closing the, it yeah. should have been <laughs> closing credits play, instead that, of fucking an angle putting a lock on and then saying we're all out of time folks we'll see you sunday things that stuck out to me though was the disheveledness of the quote unquote police officers see you're so pessimistic no i'm just saying it looked like if i was setting that up for a a shot that i wanted to look real i wouldn't have officers with like empty gun holsters that are popped open and like Hurt shirts untucked. You're and looking for all the things. I'm not looking. They're blatantly obvious. Don't make them blatantly obvious to me. Let me get sucked in a little bit more. Pay attention to the fucking detail. I've never met anybody who's pulling a Wes. Yeah. No, I... I uh, what? I got I've never so met Wes. It. I it got just sounds so like it from all the stories I've heard about Wes, you just, you're just like though. pointing out the, uh, the flaws I think of just life. Jaded. You're jaded about it. I'm sorry. Meh. I hate to be the, the bear of bad news here. Nah, you've been saying that for years. Fuck off. You are a bear. <laughs> Paul bear. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. I liked it. It was silly. It was The fun. GoPros in the car again. Come on. Didn't we learn a lesson from the Shane thing? Yeah. He doesn't want to let himself get worked. I liked the knee. I like the sweet dreams remain of this remix with the knee. You see that? Mm-mm. That's good. Uh, and the scissoring. That was cool. When they're in the backseat scissoring. Yeah. And the demolition derby part. That was cool. I liked all the mule kicks. Yeah, it was, the, yeah, it was cool. The, like, getting dragged into the back, all the shit talking they were doing. Becky is getting handcuffed. She's like, again? The yeah. <laughs> the sh- oh, dude. Their mug shots were handwritten. Nice. No, not nice. They were just holding up pieces of paper, handwritten pieces of paper. They had to process them quickly. Process? You're talking their jargon now. Oh, Jesus. All right. B- 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 Batista promo. How many movies do you watch and say, oh, this is a, you just tear it down and don't enjoy All it? of them. That's why I don't watch that many movies. See, you destroyed the magic. I am the magic. Not the movie. What's the common denominator? You. They wouldn't let you in Disney if you try to go. Yeah, they should. Oh, darn. He would ruin the magic there, too. Yeah, he'd make little kids cry. He'd be like, no. Is that a job there? What? Is that a job there? (laughs) Probably. Dude. I'm sure there's probably Get me an app next time you're there. (laughs) The ride operator is like, nope. (laughs) You're too short for this ride. I saw that, like, I saw that, like, Two or three times while we were there, kid was kid no. too short to get in the rides. You know what I want to do? I want to drive the people mover thing that takes you from the parking lot to the front. The tram? Yeah, but never go to the front. We'll just drive around the parking lot. Never make it to the front. Oh, dude. People will be like, why the fuck are we at Disney World? Like, oh, we're almost there, folks. We're very long, far away. Oh, the happiest place on earth, right around the corner. Such never get there. That'd be awesome. There's there's two people. <clears throat> there's the driver and then the rear and end. There's the, the guy in the back. Yeah, the hook and ladder all, person. Like, the comical. Narrating. I don't want to be that person. Fuck that. But that person could be like, oh, where are we going? Oh no. Yeah. No. Okay. I don't like it. Uh, Batista promo. Yeah. I loved it. It was pretty cool. It was poignant. It, it, I'm psyched for this match. Yeah. I'm I want to see that. The whole card, I'm pretty good. I know. Pretty high Me too. On. Demon Balor at Mania. Yeah. Against Lashley. Yeah, we haven't seen Demon Balor in a while, man. Yeah. Why are you shitting on him? Just because he did the tongue thing? That was a little weird. Yeah, it was kind of weird. And he had like a little panda bear nose. <laughs> and Seth Rollins standing tall over Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Doing the low blows. Low blowing him. Uh, SmackDown. It was fun. Kofi Mania, right? Kofi fucking Mania. 
Kofi Mania, and I'm pretty uh, psyched for this AJ uh, Randy Orton match. Yeah, that the KO show I think is great because the whole purpose of it is just to get his guests to fight. Yeah, yeah I dig it, and I like it. I think they uh, they did a great job of building hype for this match and the short build they had for it. Mm-hmm. At least they had a build for it, unlike the uh, Zack Ryder Kurt Hawkins <laughs> that just shows up. That just shows up, and you know they're gonna win it. This is gonna oh, be their God. like one and swan song, and then lose it on Monday or something. Yeah. Like like he did that with the yeah ladder match. Yeah. Uh, uh, I liked how there was some retribution for the Usos for forfeiting their match. Yeah, that was cool. Some continuity and of course Kofi Mania. Those promos were on point. Which pro- oh, which promos? The ones that Kofi and Brian had back and forth. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was some no. Retro. Those were on fire. Those were both really on point. So, this brings us to Mania. Kofi Mania. I'm sorry. This brings us to Kofi Mania. Yeah, don't call it anything else because that's what it's all about. Um, What are you guys looking forward to? Huh? What are you looking forward to? Oh. At WrestleMania? I mean, we could run, down, we could run down this whole card, but I don't really see necessity in that. You don't want to predictions? Like, uh, no. Are, <laughs> are we done? Too many <laughs> matches for yeah. that. There's like 17 matches. Well, yeah. Well, that's why we had to cut out the Asuka match because, you know, that's why Vince cut out the Asuka match. So yeah, it would have been more. Who's going to be in the battle royal? Which Lacey Evans is going to win, anyways? I don't think she'll show up until the day after. Um, and then shit's going to start popping for her. I think she'll show up and then just like and catwalk down and then just catwalk back up. Yeah, like in the middle of the match, probably. Which is I'm really so looking stupid. forward to Kofi. Yes, winning. Buddy uh, Murphy versus Tony Nese on the pre-show. I'm, I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Triple H losing. Yeah. That'd <laughs> you be think nice. think that's going to happen? It'll be like what is... <clears throat> to, uh, his, what, fifth or sixth loss in a WrestleMania? Seeing what kind of crazy shit happens in that main event. You know those ladies are going to go all out. Will Kurt Angle actually fight Baron Corbin as his last match? Yes. Hot take. Just to disappoint everybody. And it will be. Uh, hmm. And I hope he loses. So Balor basically has to win if yeah. he's going to be a demon. Oh, no. He's guaranteed winning yeah. if he's the demon. Okay. Uh, buried in this card is Roman versus Drew. Which is, I still think is going to be a nice, like, hard hitting Haas match, you know? One of those house where they're not thick, but they're big. They ain't like thick hogs. Houses, you know. You like thick hogs? Thicker is better, for sure. I've heard that. Yeah. I thought they were just complimenting me. Um. Seth? champ yeah I mean, or is there gonna wins, but is I there gonna be overshadowed to some degree by ambrose fuckery anywhere no. you're all you're sold on this idea that yeah. Ambrose is gonna fuck one of them over yes because I, I swear he's resigned yeah but i don't think they're gonna push him as heel again why not it would be perfect because everybody thinks he's fucking leaving no like nobody because nobody wants that mm. nobody wants him to be heel if it's done right. It's not going to be done right because there's no <laughs> way to get it done right. They can only do one heel done right at a time, and that's Daniel Bryan. Hmm. Daniel Bryan's just killing it as a heel. But. Hmm. Yeah, true. Although, so is Drew McIntyre. He's pretty on point as a... Don't like him. You don't like him? Nope. But you're just going to say something I'm a hater bullshit or something. Uh, and say something about how it's not real, and he can tell it's not real because the illusion's destroyed. And... If Kofi wins Monday on Monday Night Raw, does he have the hemp belt or the real belt? Well, uh, I don't think he would have it on Monday Night Raw. He'd probably have it on SmackDown, and he would. I don't like your tone. First <laughs> off, you need to fix that. <laughs> and he would Second off, it. come correct. I did come correcting you. Third off, fix your face. Fourth off, 
Lower your tone around me. I did come correct in there, right? <laughs> you did correct him by saying that he won't be on Raw. He'll be on SmackDown. Yeah, okay. With the hemp belt. Yeah. All right. They'll have it for a little bit. He's going to have his own plates on that thing? No. Is that comfy? No, I guarantee I'll change it back real quick. But if he keeps it, he may lose it the next night. Or maybe he'll smoke it. No invents. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Drop Tell it to uh, Kevin Owens. I would Owens. cry. To Ricochet. I would cry. Uh, I mean, anything else, Mania? Anything else, Mania Week? Weekend? Oh, so much. Just ROH? So much, New Japan? I know. It's just like blah, 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 blah. It's G1's tomorrow night. That'll be fun. Some uh, did you watch? Match did you watch any of the uh, M- Impact last night? Or what? <laughs> I watched that X Division match you sent, Shrek. No, I didn't watch any of it. I know he watches uh, Impact more than us, so I was just wondering. I haven't since they moved to Twitch. wherever they're at now. <laughs> since yeah. they went to Twitch. Yeah. Where it's easier to watch? Not for me. My Chromecast doesn't like Twitch. Mm. Plus, it's on at 10 o'clock at night, and he's got work in the morning. Yeah, I am a fucking worker. day walker now, and it's ugh. actually has to be up. I know people know not to talk to me till around eleven. It's hilarious. One Just let Rob go in the freezer and do his thing. He's a grumpy bitch until around eleven. Then after his coffee, he's gone. He's all right. I don't like it. Sorry, sir. It's gotta live I'm with sorry, it. Sorry, I do not like it. You don't gotta live with it. I'm ready for WrestleMania, though. Are you? Yeah. How many hours do you spend in that freezer? How many hours do you back like, off in the freezer? at a time or? And like in, your, in a daily shift. The majority. Um, I don't know. Today we had to do inventory. So I was in there uh, in quarter your... after eight till in we stayed freezer. in the one freezer for like an hour. And then I couldn't feel my toes or fingers. And your full sub-zero get up. Three pairs of gloves. I had hot hands in the day. Uh, two hoodies. A face mask. Underwear. T-shirt, shirt, pants, shoes, socks. It's not that bad. You get used to it. Like within, yeah, you get used to it within three or four days, and then it is what it is. It's just the biz clothes. You just gotta take enough breaks. Once you can't feel Let your my fingers, wolf kiss your wolf. Excuse me. Oh, all right. Too sweet. Um, but the longest I've stayed in the freezer with it on. Like blowing full blast because it will go into defrost, and if it goes into defrost, I- I'm gonna stay in there until I'm done, until it goes back on. But um, not on defrost, an hour and a half, 25 minutes, and I couldn't feel a fucking thing afterwards. It reminds you of home. <laughs> Reminded like sometimes I'm like I feel like Luke Skywalker on Hoth. It smells worse. I it smells <laughs> bad on yeah, the outside. Exactly. Because like our dumpster, or when you were hanging upside down because of the uh, the the wall of mammoth mm-hmm. was gotcha. The, the bomb and you're snow sh- monster. stretching out for your. Uh... I use the force a lot to like get bins that are like high up. Oh, we almost had a shelf fall last week on me. That was pretty shitty. Somebody hit it with the forklift. No, get this shit. Oh. Uh oh. Like we took a break and um. It was lunch or some shit, and came back from lunch, and I'm going in the freezer. I didn't notice it at first, and then I set a bin down. I'm like, holy fuck, this shelf's about to fall over. So I'm like, fuck. I took all the heavy shit off of it that I could, like on the top, because it was leaning over. And I run inside, like, guys, 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 come give me a hand, come give me a hand. This shelf's about to fall over, ah, you know. They're like, oh, shit, blah, 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 blah. One home dude looks at me like, oh, shit, I forgot to tell you all about that. (laughs) Slipped my mind. I could have punched this motherfucker. I mean, you know, whatever now. But You don't do shit like that. You see shit like that at work, you say something right the fuck away. Somebody else could get hurt. Follow the rules on the bus. You see something, you say something. I don't know about the bus, but... Yeah, that's why I see the signs. No, no illusion there. I mean, this bitch was like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I meant to tell you all about that. Oh, by the way, yeah, that, uh, yeah, I did that. My bad. I thought it was all right. That's crazy. Any fucking way. How do we get from that to that? 
You? Him, he asked. I, because, I don't know. I Look at him. He's part asleep. You're all part asleep. I'm not part asleep. I'm part asleep. You got anything else about WrestleMania? Either of you? No, next week I will. <laughs> yeah, we'll have some favorite spots and shots and hots I'm, and not. I'm stoked for it all. This is one WrestleMania. If you had to pick it. one thing that is going to be the highlight that you're thinking of right now. Kofi. Of all wrestling, not even just WrestleMania. Kofi raising But like that belt. all weekend. Kofi raising that belt. That's what you want to see. Yeah. Most. Most. That Steven? Gargano match was, was pretty good. Steven? Yeah, the Gargano match tonight was good, but I, Kofi raising that belt. Okay, you Kofi. It'll be uh, WrestleMania 30 all over again. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Just a B plus player becoming uh, number one. This is representation for thousands of young men <laughs> that need a role model. Huh? He's tired. He's he's tr- he's rolling. Yeah, he's doing it for the black and brown people, man. What? 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 He's not Mexican. Huh? Hold up. Are you? Are you lumping black and brown as in black and Mexican? Motherfucking Big E said it at Wall Mania. I'm, these aren't words I'm just make pulling out of my ass. Nah, he said this. He said that they, that's why they're doing this. So there's representation for all these kids that have never seen someone that looks like them raise that belt. I just hope they don't fuck it up. You know Vince McMahon did say the N-word on TV once. Kobe did used to play a Jamaican person. <laughs> He's faking Jamaican. What is wrong with you? You've got problems. Steven. I don't know what to do with him. I don't know if we can even help him. I think this is one of those things where he has to just do better. He be needs better to show up consistently. He needs if he's here consistently, he, he needs can to get it all out. He won't be like this. He needs to stop seeing little girls' iPads. That's what he needs to do. He's talking about you. No, I was talking about you. You said Steven. We were talking about what's wrong with you. Yeah, he said Steve. I don't know what's wrong with him. I was like... Not Steve. I don't know what's wrong with you. Yeah. For making that fake in Jamaican comment. Yeah. He, they did have him fake Jamaican. He's not but, even from Jamaica. He's from like Buff Boston or something like that. Buff Bagwell? Ghana, Boston. It's kind of the same. Ghana? Yeah. He's from South Africa? Ghana is in West Africa, I think. But. I got that Africa. South Africa Fuck. is in South Africa. <laughs> Um. Yeah. I don't know, like all the geography. <laughs> Just a little of it. Oh, uh, there's like. Please, paint the picture. I don't paint know. the word picture for the people. West and south. Because I know Morocco's North Africa. Correct. Tay, do you remember um, from uh, Animaniacs when Yakko or Wacko would uh name the? It wasn't Dot though. What? It definitely wasn't Dot. No, it was because the guy Paul uh. <laughs> The guy who does the voice for Wa- Yakko, I think it is. Not Wacko. No. Not Dot. Yakko, he does just the voice. Paul Paul, Paul Walson or something, I think his name is. Is the uh, act, the actor's name, voice actor. But how he did that segment where like he would name like all the countries like a, like a song. Oh, yeah. No, can you, I don't remember that shit. Can you do that with Africa? No. Hey. No. Let's, let's close the show then. You know the rain's in Africa? Don't <laughs> do, you know what, do you know I hope it rains in Africa? That's why we can't have nice things. Let me just hit that, that button over yeah, there. Go ahead and hit that button. <laughs> there's nothing more going to be added to this. I think other. there's some gold left somewhere. Oh, yeah. Squeeze it. You got to squeeze it, no, man. Please. Especially when Mel's hey. asleep. Like the, just squeeze that gland. And just just Less is more sometimes. Yeah. Shit, you suck, I can't believe we'll walk you out It's not a start on me, and my pants falling down I would have another time
drink except it might be poisoned by my mind And my pants falling down I don't know what you've been drinking But pour another one for me My pants are falling down The room is spinning around My stomach is making funny sounds I'm falling down I'm falling down As she slapped my face and spit beer on me And my pants falling down She said you're a no good A duck to the punk rocker With a bad haircut And your pants falling down I don't know what you've been smoking But back another bowl to me My pants are falling down The room is spinning around and around My stomach is making funny sounds I'm falling down This has been a TRGPM production.